Hey guys, it's Neil from the Skullbusters, and in today's video, I'm going to show you the best and probably the easiest way of getting gold in the one hour endurance race on Deep Forest Raceway. So it's the new missions that have been added, um, so it's all the endurance races uh, called the Human Comedy. Um, so first off, what I'd recommend doing is buying uh, a car, which is um, it's just lightning quick basically. Um, so yeah, you've got to spend a million pound. It sounds harsh and um, really painful to spend a million credits in uh, Gran Turismo 7, but yeah, it's going to be worth it. So uh, yeah, if you come to Dodge and then come over to the Tomahawk, uh, make sure you buy this version. And um, I'm going to show you um, the best way to tune it down because um, obviously it's super powerful um, and it, this just alone won't be able to enter the race but I'm going to tune it for you so that you're able to um, use this car in the endurance race and you're only going to pit once I'm going to do you're going to do one stint uh, 40 laps and then another 15 laps after that so it's, it's that easy you lap them all uh, on the second lap it's that ridiculously good basically uh, so yeah, you've got a. Let's buy that car. A um, couple of things that I bought. Um, make sure you buy the power restrictor. Uh, I bought the ballast. I didn't need it in the end, but I just bought it just in case. The important one to buy here now is the um, fully customizable racing transmission. That is important. Uh, so make sure you buy that. Um, I bought all the tires wets. Um, it, I didn't, you don't need them for this race um, all you're going to be using is the racing hards uh, but like I said I just bought the tyres anyway so I've got them if I ever need them um, so yeah make sure you buy them bits so that you're able to tune the car to get through to this race so if you copy my setup here so what you like I say just leave the tyres on racing hards don't touch the suspension um, leave all these as standard so basically don't touch all these these are fine uh, what you do need to alter is the uh, customize customizable racing transmission as I said so if you put that section there onto 580 and the manual adjustment come down um, and adjust all the gear ratio so don't touch seventh sixth and fifth what you do need to alter is the fourth third and the second and the first so if you copy my setup um, if you start with the fourth and work your way down to the first gear um, to, until you reach them numbers you might have to keep going back into them to adjust basically um, until you get to the right setup it pause it and that would help you uh, put the right power restrictor on 70 put the output adjustment on 70 as well um, and that is pretty much it that's all you need to do really um, like I say just pause it and that'll help you uh, to copy my settings once you do that press triangle to remeasure now there is a little bug it will come up maybe with an error code it might work it might not what you need to do is back out all the way to the main menu and then go back into the race then you'll see that the PP on the car as you look at the top of mine is just under the limit so it makes the race um, so my setup my settings I put my traction on five for extra grip um, I put I didn't I didn't even have the counter steering on some people have it on some people don't but I, I don't prefer to have it on personally um, make sure you change the mapping the fuel mapping uh, put that on six and like I say that will get you to 40 laps I think it gets you a bit more to 40 laps actually I think it was about 45 ish but I pitted on lap 40 because the tyres uh, was going by then um, they were sliding all over the place um, but like I say just put that fuel mapping on uh, 6 and then that should see you through uh, to the first pit stop um, in theory it, what you could even do is uh, get to lap 40 and you could just park the car up, honestly, and just let the 15 minutes uh, tick down. But yeah, what's the point of doing that? I'd like 
I was just trying to get the fastest lap I possibly could. Um, I was just aiming for that. And I see how many, and the other thing I was going for, I see how many laps I could um, lap them all, all the cars by. And that was my target, basically, for the hour. That was just keeping me motivated. See how many laps I could get by the end of the hour. Um, so by the second lap, you will be lapping them. If you can see here, I'm pretty much nearly at the start finish already. Um, watch out for the airpin here, yeah. The turning, make sure you brake quite early. It, and, and just let the car roll round that airpin and it'll be fine. You, the more you get to the grips of it, the car, because it's super powerful. Um, it's, like I say, it's just, it's dead easy this. It's one of the easiest endurances I've, I've done. So this is my fastest lap. Um, I've done uh, one minute um, and one. So, like I say, it's, it just blitzes them really. Um, obviously, the more laps you do, the more tyre wear. So the car starts sliding more into corners. So you start losing a bit of grip, basically. Uh, so your times start coming down to like one minute fives to one minute tens, anything between that. And plus, you've got the lap, uh, the lap cars. That's another issue for you to deal with. Obviously, if you can try and keep a clean race, uh, you will get that bonus. I missed out on that, um, as you'll find. Uh, the cars, uh, the, the AI just kind of get in your way, they don't move out your way or they just don't do it quick enough for you um, under the blue flags, so just try and avoid them the best you can um, and obviously don't try and um, hit the barriers or anything or anything like that because you will get a time penalty, not that it matters because the car is super quick anyway, so like I said I pitted on lap 40 uh, I came in, I put the racing hards back on, the tyres, um, I filled the tank up to full, you don't need to, you can probably fill it halfway, 20 laps will do you to the end of the race, um, but I just done it anyway, I had all that time, um, so yeah I just filled the tank, not that it matters, as you can see if you look on the bottom left there now you can see my tyres, they're pretty much nearly gone, two thirds of them, and they, it was kind of sliding then. Um, I was aiming for lap 45, but I thought I'm just going to bring it in on lap 40, just to be safe. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I've done. That's what I'd probably recommend doing. Um, like I say, you could you could stop the fuel there on half, and then go back out. Um, but I just I just filled the tank. I was just killing a little bit of time. Um, you just sat there anyway. They can't they can't overtake you. It's impossible now. So yeah like I say dead easy this uh, endurance um, like I say the tricky bit is obviously getting that car set up uh, if you copy my settings like I said um, just pause it and then try and get the mappings on them gear ratios um, and then you should be fine um, the reason I bought this car really was there was a we've done a money grind video uh, so be sure to check that out um, you can I can get you and just under 2.5 mil in under an hour in about an hour uh, so make sure you check that video out that we've got on there some money grind uh, it's a really good one just using this car if you've set this car up anyway you're ready to go for the money grind so you can see I've done 50 uh, four laps uh, got gold nice and easy and like I say I could have done lot less laps you could just park the car um, after I'm last 40 and then just wait really but I, I didn't didn't like the idea of that to be honest as you can see lap the cars massively 19 18 and 17 laps so dead easy should get you gold so I hope this video helps if it did don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you next time